Well, the Crow Wing County Drug Court hosted its second annual hog roast this afternoon to raise additional funds for the program. Our Anthony Scott has more. If you feed them, they will come. That was the idea behind the second annual hog roast to support Crow Wing County's Drug Court, a program that has helped over 100 residents overcome addiction. However, the court does not accept people with violent crime charges or first degree offenses. We ha do have some who have been to prison in the past for their drug offenses and we try to help them stay in the community and maybe learn a different way of life. It's a 22 month program that helps people not only get sober, but stay sober. For the first time in my life, like even in my other recoveries, like uh, they've gone the extra mile to make sure that not just that I'm sober, but like all the areas of my life have changed and I feel good about who I am today. It's definitely a better alternative than going to jail or prison and uh, coming back out and having to do it all on your own. For six dollars people can come and get cold pork sandwich, their choice of either coleslaw and potato salad, and then cookies, chips, and a drink all to support the drug court. The money from the fundraiser is used to put on events for the drug court participants. We get to go on sober events where it's just so much fun, 100% sober, and we have a ball. The program also has profound effects with the participants' family as well. This is important because it doesn't just affect the offender themselves. This affects their whole family. It's watching the kids change as their parents get clean and sober. It's how it affects so many others in the community. It's amazing to see the lives that are touched by this. Drug court research reflects that for every $1 spent on drug courts, there is a savings of $10 due to reduced jail time. But participants of drug court have to be willing to change. You learn how to be real, and they don't give up on you unless you choose to give up on yourself. That's what I have found with participants who have and haven't make it, made it in the program. They won't give up on you unless you choose to give up on yourself. Drug court is more than just a get sober program as it has been changing people's lives for over 10 years. So it's if you picture uh, dropping a pebble in the water and how that spreads out, that is what our program does. We just don't move them through the program. They are improving their life. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The Kerwin County Drug Court has changed the lives of 100 people since 2006. For more information, you can visit the story on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.